pretty sure. Yep, yep. We cleared everything. We did our scuttlebutt. We read the emails. We've acquired more missions. And we're gonna ignore all of it. <laughs> because... Fuck yeah. This is, this is, this is an appropriate time in the storyline. I so love ignoring important things. It's my favorite thing to do in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> this is an appropriate window to tackle the next DLC. Because we are okay. actually, as far as the main storyline goes, we are rapidly approaching the end. Very oh, wow. rapidly. Okay. <laughs> so... Oh. It's, oh my it's gosh, tired. this one kind of has flown by. It's, it's flying by kind of fast. It, it feels, it's weird, right? Because it's like, we're actually doing a lot of stuff, and then you have to do all the Citadel time. But once you start getting towards the end, you're like, man, I already cured the Genophage and solved the Cory and Geth War? <laughs> right, that's pretty big stuff. Yeah, <laughs> true. Shit. Cool. Um, This is a DLC. This is my second favorite DLC. Favorite is an easy, Ooh, okay. that's an easy pick for just about anybody. I don't know anybody whose favorite isn't the last one we're going to do. <laughs> um, oh, cool. Okay. Interesting. But, but this is my second favorite. Omega was kind of, it was, it's fine. It could have been better. Mm -hmm. It was you know? interesting. It was okay. Like, I really, I think I was, I think for me, when I played it the first time, I was just kind of disappointed because I, I actually wanted more time with Omega's filth. Like, I was like, no, I, I want... I want to get like a whole team together, a bunch of Omega weirdos to like fight with and stuff. But it's just like you, Arya, and her ex girlfriend. So, right, right. Who, who are very, who, you know, Nyria is very cool and it's really kind of a bummer that they just kind of wrote her in and wrote her right back out again. But yeah, um, that was a bummer. But yeah, this one is interesting. Um, I will put, I will put this one, I'm just going to give you this little, this little seed of information, which is when we get to the very, very end of this game. I'm going to address this DLC because it didn't exist when the ending was, was made. Oh, interesting. And, okay, so um, it kind of throws some things a little like extra weird. You're like, there's like extra lines and stuff at the end if you have the DLC installed. Oh. Oh, interesting. Are they fixing kind of how bad? No, they, they never really <laughs> fixed it. Um, uh, we'll be, I mean, we'll be getting the fixed version, which was all you're going to need to know. So essentially from this point on, I'm sure some people are going to be mad that I'm explaining this, but it's like, we're going to play a pretty cool DLC. We're probably going to go deal with, we're probably right after, when, after we finish this, the next time we're recording, we'll probably go to the Citadel for regular stuff and see how things have changed, mm -hmm. pick up more scanning stuff and do them before we run off to do the Sanctuary mission, because that is technically a priority mission. And priority missions always have that opportunity to like lock you out of something if you haven't picked it up yet or haven't done it yet. So we'll probably like clear some things. Um, I don't have it written down as a, as a point that you have to clear the journal, but we might as well, you know, just kind of like like clear some right. stuff out uh you know do anything that is left hanging do sanctuary and then we're immediately going to get hit with uh a, the, the equivalent of the reaper iff mission where that's not this isn't end game but the moment you pick up this mission you're going to get snowballed to the end uh, from that point okay out. right and it's going to be really right. awkward and or impossible to leave the the main quest you can't really leave the main quest at that point so okay right so that's when we'll do the dlc that everybody loves <laughs> cool okay interesting so, so this has been sitting here for a while dr bryson's lab okay right for right. a really long time we're finally going to go see dr bryson who has been investigating something that anderson or hackett or somebody wanted us to look into oh cool Okay. It's another one of those things where you it unlocks like almost immediately because you can do it anytime. Oh, nice. Okay. I want you to match this against the all known locations and update the map. Then contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard, we've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. 
That's an interesting goal, but is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics. Anything that can give us an edge. And how did you wind up in charge? When the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist, I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my lifetime. Once that myth was proven to be reality, our entire history changed. Reapers were part of that reality, too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we can just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. Sh sure. Yeah, sounds reasonable. I could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid more attention to your Prothean beacon, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough's near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Whoa. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine, but I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? Oh. <laughs> good, good, good question. You're a murderer. Like... <laughs> Whoa, a little intense. <laughs> you tell me. I I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then it was dark, cold, like I was someplace else. And then? I don't know. A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson, there was a loud noise. That was you shooting him. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. You have to believe that. Yeah, like, then what happened to your room? So someone else pulled that trigger. But I would never do that! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you wanna... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it, get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with him. Yes, ma'am. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, do you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator. And it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance and tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Both uh, of these responses well, sound correct. <laughs> yes, I, I. Yes, I agree. I think we we are. We've got to say the top one though. It does sound pretty dangerous. Anything we've, capable we've of killing just a put that out there. a lot of collateral damage. <laughs> Yet given the state of this conflict, I believe the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, 
may be relevant. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. Well, this must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'd swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garno appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan, but he does not stay to destination. Well, Edie. Uh, yeah, we can We're find him together. Time. Let's time focus on what he does say then. He mentioned extrapolating Leviathan's path and crunching numbers. He wasn't flying blind. He had data. A significant amount of data, judging by this office. So how do we narrow it down? Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. Woohoo! Consult the galaxy map. Well, here's the thing. We don't have any info in this map just yet. Does this ah, tell right, us where Garneau okay. went? No. But we may be able to narrow down his location. Oh god. If we find clues he was using Ugh, in his search for thing. Leviathan. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Ew, what is it? It's what is it? Head. Oh, it's a husk head. Yo, that is haunting. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, why is this on your desk? These are all I saw it in which the accused myself. lacked a known motive and claimed memory loss. Just like Bryson's assistant. You think Garneau was following a trail of blackout crimes? It is possible. We need to find data matching dates and locations for crimes of this nature. Here's the time and date chart for the crimes. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding the search filter, you may examine the results on the galaxy map. So program. yeah, we're we're gonna go through the lab, and okay. we're going to. I always I always miss that. I always forget to come out here. <laughs> Fake random stuff up that's out here. <laughs> um, there's another one. Yeah. Hmm. Um, we're, this is, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through the whole lab and, uh, have a look-see through all the stuff. Look at okay. this. Whoa. Sovereign fragment. Sovereign. Vanguard oh, wow. of our destruction. How's that working out for you, big guy? <laughs> Sassy. <Shepherd is> so <laughs> cool. <laughs> This appears to be encrypted data on Reaper fleet activity. You think it's relevant? Possibly. But it is impossible to say without more data. And the decryption key. Sir, this is Bryson. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. Studying Reaper hunting patterns could be vital to finding it. That data is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands... It won't. The data's encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Close to his heart. The hell does that mean? Good question. Hmm. Oh boy. By Anne Bryson, age nine. Records indicate Anne is now 28. She works for the Alliance. Bryson was keeping the encryption key close to his heart. What's closer than family? An interesting hypothesis. But I detect no trace of the decryption key in this art. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> she was nine. <laughs> data on the Rachni. March seventh, twenty one eighty six. I'm looking at the Rachni. Their movements during the Rachni wars suggest alien influence. Mm. But the timing is wrong, and Rachni weren't implanted with Reaper tech. What if Leviathan was preparing the Rachni to fight the Reapers? What do you think, Edie? It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Rachni fleet activity to find Leviathan. We saw a data pad containing data on Rachni movements earlier. You the Rachni some? data. You Can you add some? a cross-reference right to here. locations of sightings? <laughs> Adding this search filter to the galaxy map. Thank you. Ooh. A PDA about the Thorian. 
Oh, all right. A flashback. All right. Flashback. Let's go. The Thurian, a life form di discovered on Pharaohs, provides fascinating insight into the life cycle of a truly alien species. Unlike conventionally intelligent life, it does not use mass relays. Prothean artifacts would not interest it. C excuse me. Commander Shepard claims that Reaper enemies cultivated life to evolve along the lines they could predict using technology the Reapers controlled. The Thorian is an exception to that rule. It evolved to use organic tools rather than conventional technology. Leviathan must be somehow similar to have survived undetected for so long. The Thorian used pain conditioning to control its victims, using them as manual labor or even as a man would use his own hands and fingers. Commander Shepard claims that Reapers do the same thing through a different process called indoctrination. Whatever Leviathan is, it must do something similar. Hmm. Mm. Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie. Can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding the search filter now. Thank you. Rocks. Meteorite <laughs> fragment, maybe? <laughs> studying it as an object of importance. We should look more closely at a sample. Okay. I'm sorry if the newspaper rustling is getting caught. <laughs> Picked up meteorite sample. <laughs> like, traces of elements. There's nothing there. I could do about it. I'm sorry. Does Leviathan need Ezo? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, Element Zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Uh -huh. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with Element Zero? Adding it now. Thank you. Oh, hey, more stuff. Why you got so much, like, weapon stuff in here, dude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is weird. Totally random stuff just sitting around. Oh, yeah, let's go to my favorite room. Yeah, look at all this literature by the uh, toilet. Oh my gosh. I was going to say, it looks like, you know, like yeah, the take a shower. Toilet. Uh, you know, with the, all the documents in it. Do uh -huh. you ever see that photo? Yes. Reminded me of that. Yeah. Except this, this bathroom doesn't have a chandelier. No, Lame. no chandelier. No. Cool art, though. Yeah, that is cool. All right, let's head upstairs, Edie. There's more to this place. Ooh, more. Now this looks like glitch art. Somebody glitched uh, the yeah. picture. That's cool. Another piece of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. Hey, look. Well, take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right, let's get back to the data pad we found earlier. Sure thing, hang on. Force Aurora for intercepted Batarian communications regarding the Leviathan of Dis. Oh, I just was paying attention to the subtitles. Why are you, why are you saying that? <laughs> Based on the dialogue. <laughs> then, oh, duh. Okay, sorry. Yeah, we're not allowed to look at it right now. Best technology helps huh. press anything on the council. Excellent. Our scientists will work day and night to bring its secrets to the agility. One concerning the matter. The real Leviathan of Dis. That destroyed the ship is still out there. Unaccounted for. Irrelevant. The ship is our priority. And as far as the rest of the galaxy is concerned, there is no Leviathan of Dis. There never was. Big cover ups. Mm -hmm. Um Interesting. Yeah, uh I so the fact that they actually took the time to give Dr. Bryson a very unique face is interesting and weird to me, considering how long he lasts in the story. Uh, yeah, that is interesting. And I don't mind it. Like I think they should have done more of that. Like, like one of the right. big for me, one of the the only like the only actual letdown of Kasumi's um, loyalty mission is that when you finally get to see KG, it's like it's just a dude from the character creation. Like they didn't even give oh. him, they they didn't even give him a unique face. Like his face is not unique. So it's kind of lame. Oh, no. It's like he was, it's dirty. he's kind of a, an important person to her. You know? Oof, that's that's too bad. Yeah. Alright, alright, Edie. Um, okay, we've got some things. Let's do we definitely I, I don't remember how many which ones we need, but um I, 
I, I'm pretty sure Element, element zero, zero deposits. And then... Based on the search results, Garno is in one of these five systems. I have marked the Normandy map with possible locations. We can leave now. Unless you wish to further narrow uh, the search. Yeah, we should narrow it. Let's narrow the search. <laughs> um, we, we, we want we want we want overlaps. We want overlaps. So let's let's do uh Rachni? Rachni activity. Let's see if there's any overlaps. Nope. No results. Some of our search parameters yeah, may be irrelevant. Not needed. Deactivate Rachni. Five possible systems. Thank you. Creature sightings. Alien sightings. Ah, yeah, there we oh, go. Oh. Nice. Three possibilities. Now, that might be all we need. I forget if Blackout Crimes is actually relevant. Let's see. Blackout Crimes? No. Nope. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. I think, yeah, I think it's... Three possibilities. Three possibilities. I, I, well, that sounds about right for how many we have to uh, go off of. Okay. Um. Yeah. That. That seems right. Let me. I'm just gonna shove my face over everything <laughs> and make sure. So, <laughs> we're activating that Halloween decoration. <laughs> you know, that's really what it sounds like. <laughs> Halloween decor of the future. Decryption oh yeah, here complete. we go. Analyzing data. Here we go. I was like, I think these there's movements more. do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. Well, let's and I'll go. bet Garno used this intel. Let's go. Add Can you this. make a search for sure five? Doing so now. I was like, am I just misremembering Reaper activity? Reaper activity. Ha ha! There we go. Ah. We have a match. System. Marking the galaxy map. Good. Okay. You. Let's go find Garno. Let's go find him. Sounds important. All right, mm -hmm. it does. Return to Normandy. <laughs> you might hit <laughs> the bar while we're here, Edie. <laughs> <laughs> hit the dance floor. You know, I'm famous for the dance moves. My shepherd super, moves. Super famous. Pretty good for a white chick. <laughs> I do the what I all I could think of. I was like, I was trying to come up with a name for the the shepherd shuffle, and I was like, what would be like a more like generic name for a, a, a like if you have a white shepherd like this, the cracker punch? <laughs> is that with that? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> with That's that? me at a, at a dance floor <laughs> for sure. For sure. Drag's a little a different story, but on just a regular dance floor, mm -hmm. like as a woman, that's that's me. Mm-hmm. Uh, nope, we don't want that. Scan for Dr. Garneau. Here we go. Let's go find I think I remember the name of this thing. And he's a lot too. Also, I think it's a travesty that if you up if you upgraded your fuel reserves in Mass Effect 2 to um, be fifteen hundred, not just a thousand. Why? Why doesn't it? Why did that not carry over? I'm just saying. Why? Uh, why, why did they lower our <laughs> exploration? That is that is I weird. That is weird. We have located Garno. Here we go, Mojave. Uh, that's uh -huh. what I thought it was called. It's a asteroid. I, I remembered it. It was oh, it's actually wow, okay. not a planet. It's an asteroid. Ooh, um, you're usually to tell us about Mojave. <laughs> okay, uh, Mojave is a metallic asteroid. Ooh, cool. In uh, the very sparse Nahata belt, it has a high nickel and iron content in the form of comasite. The rights to the to mine Mahavid belong to T Jess Guess T G E S yeah. uh, Mineral Works, who sell their products primarily to the colonists of Arvuna. Arvuna. Mm. Okay, I was. It just sounded like there was going to be like a number after it. You know what I mean? <laughs> it just it sounded like be. a planet that would have a like Arvuna Five. Arvuna Five. 
Arvuna five. Yeah, whatever. Um, a close flyby reveals light emanating from its facilities. Oh, interesting. Mm, population 100. Population 152. <laughs> Whoa. All hell population estimates are pre invasion. Well, yeah, technically. And we're gonna end there. Okay. Okay, so Edie's good for this, and then we can take whoever else. Okay. Let's see. Let's take. Let's take. You know, let's spend some time with our boyfriend and take Yara's. <laughs> what if Shepard talked like that for the whole game? <laughs> That'd be amazing. That'd be awesome. I could totally voice a shepherd like that. <laughs> All right, I do love my Geth Plasma Shotgun, but the Eviscerator is lighter, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Black Widow is better than the Widow. But we'll look at it. Oh, I see so That's a little, the regular Widow has some good damage to it. Uh, why are, why does it keep defaulting you guys to that? I don't. I don't understand. There's something wrong with the pistol settings. Yeah, oh, weird. All right. Confirm. Ooh, okay. Would you like to max overload or her defense matrix? Um, you know, I think we should if just not having not even looking wanting to go into like the details. Mm -hmm. I honestly think the defense matrix sounds like a good idea. Sounds fun. Reduce yeah. power speed penalty because it's like any of the fortificate other fortifications. It does slow down their powers, or increase damage protection by ten percent. Uh, oh, interesting. Hmm. Um. You know, let's maybe why don't we? Reduce the power speed penalty. That's think, that sounds cool. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea for her, considering she has um, the decoy and the overload and incinerate. She has right. all these other abilities she can be using, so right be helpful. Oh, let's get armor piercing ammo. Do we wish to increase ammo capacity? C question mark. I don't think that really matters much with your. Uh, mm. No, I don't see. I just don't like remember that we've ever had that issue. No, they because like they also aren't affected by weight, so you can literally put whatever. Oh, on them. Right. that's that's why they're they have they're restricted to specific gun types of guns oh, is because there's no okay. weight restriction on them. They can only use. Certain that's weapons. cool. So, I think he would love our sniper would love to increase. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this is oh yeah, this is a no brainer. Yeah. <laughs> A no-brainer, indeed. And you ain't gonna have no brains no more. <laughs> what else? Alan Garris is done with you. What exactly is on this <laughs> asteroid? Mining facility. TGS Mineral Works. Small operation. Could be a good place for Leviathan to hide. We've all read Edie's notes on Bryson's lab. Any questions? Is there a clearer idea of what this Leviathan was? Not really. We only know it killed a Reaper. But it is Garneau, Dr. Bryson's associate, that we are looking for. Right. If we find Garneau, we find Leviathan. Theoretically. Agreed. Uh, I would say, well, we can't let it hide for long. The doctor was right. Anything powerful enough to kill a Reaper needs to be investigated. I just hope Garneau has the answers we need. I'm reading Reaper enemy signatures in the asteroid field. Bryson said they were shadowing his field teams. They're after Leviathan too. Reapers are a good sign. That's not something you hear every day. <laughs> Take us in. Seriously. Gortez is like, okay. <laughs> you say so, boss. <laughs> There's a Leviathan in the Zelda series as well. And so I keep picturing it as that. <laughs> He's like in in Skyward Sword. He's like a big like gray like space whale kind of. Oh, okay. With like don't go anywhere. Like a Cortez. like a we'll beard and, and be right eyebrows. Out. I think <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe situation. Yes, Commander. 
so uh, but I think it probably doesn't look like that right in this uh, game <laughs> I, I love like okay I'll be honest like if I had to be stuck out on like kind of isolated place I'd rather be on an asteroid be the... you think so yeah that sounds so scary like you never know it doesn't have I don't know you it could go somewhere right, <laughs> right? like you could get caught Scouting up in party. some some gravitational like pull so easily right Alright everybody, you put that on, I'll put this on, yeah, and then get this little guy going, and let's go! Bye! This is considered a scouting party, it's not really a bird in two more hours. Oh, okay, right. before the serious troops arrive. The civilians inside are likely to be worried. It, yeah, they should be. <laughs> they should be concerned. Why are the Reapers on our tiny little mining asteroid? Like, what's going on? That would be so scary. <laughs> like, but, uh, I don't know, like sometimes when you, uh, when you, when you use, use a little marijuana, it helps with your like, it like amplifies your imagination and mm -hmm. your empathy. Mm -hmm. Sometimes maybe it's more on that imagination scale. So you kind of can easily really imagine yourself and like empathize with other situations mm -hmm. and things like that. So I was like, oh, I really feel that. <laughs> <laughs> Just we got really into it. I don't know. It's like, man, that would be so scary. All guests need to sign in at reception. They're taking it pretty well, don't you think? Hello? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm Commander Shepard of the Alliance. You just had Reaper troops attacking your front door. Are they still there? I've taken care of them for now. I see. That will be all. Um, <laughs> that will be... creepy. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yes, welcome to TGS Mineral Works. How can we help you? Yes. For the tour, please sign in. <laughs> What's going on? You don't seem worried yeah. about those Reapers. You know something I don't? TGS Mineral Works is a small to mid-level supplier of tungsten to the galaxy. That's not what I meant. Are you familiar with the applications of tungsten? Please. <laughs> 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 You know, it is a little tempting to just be like, snap, you know, pull snap. a full share, snap out of it, or whatever. <laughs> it was too high pitched to be share. I'm sorry, I'm a man at heart. I'm a feminine man at heart. I can't do it. <laughs> um, but I think we better go with, I need your help. <laughs> I'm looking for a researcher named Dr. Garneau. It would have arrived within the last couple weeks. If he's still here, I need to speak to him. We have no Dr. Garneau. Do you need to see a doctor? <laughs> How about I just go in and look around? No. The excess elevator is broken. Uh-huh. <laughs> and now, we're done. Step away. Step away. You don't belong here. Bad vibe to these guys. I don't think we want to push it. Just look around. Yeah. Carefully. Bad vibe indeed. Gears is like, girlfriend, I need you to step away. Level up. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Um, well, we're usually using cryo, so 
uh, I'd love, on the other hand, I'd love to increase shotgun capacity, so. <laughs> Let's do that. I'm just that gonna good. do that. And, uh, yeah, you guys are gonna have to save up some points. Uh huh. How are we all doing over here? Hello. Pardon me. Excuse me. You don't belong here. Nope. <laughs> They're all just. <laughs> Dr. Triffin, what a name. Your appeal yeah. is denied. Your resources are cut off, and you've been reassigned. Clean out your office and report to Dr. Lan. There'll be no further discussion on this matter. Damn. Sh sure. Okay. Let's. Oh, video tour. TGS Mineral Works. Proud providers of tungsten since 2162. Yeah. Interested in working with us? Tour our facility to discover if TGS Mineral Works is right for you. Alrighty, let's 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 go around and have the a little. The people seem fearful. It is difficult to determine why. But he we need to fix that elevator. For sure. I'm looking for a Dr. Garneau. I don't know what you mean. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't mind me. Uh-huh. Sure hmm. thing. So okay. Okay. So okay. So this is a fun little this this is a fun slash funny little thing. Repair drone terminal. Repair terminal activated. This is I'll a mechanic primarily elevator, used to stay with in multiplayer, where you have to oh. escort drones. It's one of the things that you oh, one of the things you okay. might have to do. Um, uh -huh. while you know the hordes of enemies are coming, you might have to like make sure the drone gets to where it needs to go. Right. Gotcha. Sounds fun. Yeah, it's a fun. It's one of the little things. There's another one that you have to do later in those DLCs. Sounds a little challenging, but it sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's it's so the, the the drone will freeze if everybody like leaves its orbit to like take out enemies. So it's like you you want to be trying doing your best to fight from within the orbit, but you may be super exposed. So you know, it's right. one of those types of things. Let's watch one more. Why not? Enter the facility to see our workforce in action. Oh, all right. Let's do it. Let's, we fix the elevator. Hey, hey guys, actually, you know what? I didn't go into your office. What's what's going on in here? You can't be in here. I will call security. <laughs> <laughs> the tests reportedly pushed the subject past his emotional breaking point. The subject is currently in a catatonic state and being treated in hospital. All further tests planned for the subject have been canceled. Moving forward, a new screening process will be put in place to prevent similar delays. Was this written by my like ex bosses of Japan? Ship commander. Like, oh. this employee has been past, pushed past their emotional <laughs> breaking point and they're currently catatonic. <laughs> Access granted. On. Security log past seven days. <laughs> it's so real. Randall, oh, Jan Randall, Alex Garneau, Garneau has been through here, Stephen Bragg, and Fiona Triffin. No, Garno has been through here, so it's Dr. Triffin. security log said Garno came through here in the last week. Why are they lying about that? No idea. Let's hope we don't have to look too far. Now, my question is, why does Garrus have his full helmet on and, and we don't? Because <laughs> usually if it's a environment where we would absolutely need it, the helmet will take priority over whatever your little fancy interface is, but... Oh. I don't know. I forget. Maybe they changed that in three. Um, they keep your huh. little sentry interface. Maybe it on. was just he was just he was just feeling it. He was just feeling his helmet. Yeah. It's this. It's this. Oh no. <laughs> She's out there. Do you see her stuck in the door? Oh no. <laughs> Surely she will pop back in. Um, science offices. We cannot go to. Speaking of feeling yourself, there she is. Feeling oneself, a, a, a gentleman feeling oneself. I finally saw the Barbie movie. <laughs> Just to take this uh, oh, a little bit. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. See, that's not where I thought that was going to go. <laughs> I finally <laughs> watched the Barbie movie. Uh, oh, that's great. Garrus is I, I, I'm going to watch it soon. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I got to watch it soon. I'm excited. It's, uh, it's not what, it's not, it's even more than I expected. <laughs> Say that much. So nice. 
After comparing the stomach contents of Vaird from eight different re regions, we must reevaluate our current understanding of their feeding practices. Hmm. <laughs> okay, why is this in a mine? <laughs> oh yeah, and then the, the mineral lab like loops around. It's pretty big. Hello everyone. Um There's lots of stuff just on the floor. I feel like that's not normal. That seems, is that would right, that is strange. Seems a little strange to whoever is moving my stuff. <laughs> Some of the data I've been compiling on how historical weather events affect Hanar government have gone missing. If you moved it, please return it. It is the culmination of years of research. If you need me to help you find space for your project, just ask. I'd be happy to help. Tannis. I see it trained in the miners. They appear to be doing everything but mining. It's true. Yeah, you're you are correct, Edie. No one here is mining. Eh, right. Turn back. You shouldn't be here. Okay. This is a spooky Star Trek episode. It, it, it's a spooky Star Trek episode. Note to staff, this new crossbreed appears harmless and should be inconspicuous in an office environment. However, it is exceedingly dangerous. Use extreme caution when working with all third generation plants. Nice. Hello? Have you seen Dr. Garneau? You shouldn't be here. Evolutionary implications of human biotics. Strange thing to be studying. Nope, Edie is stuck. This gentleman is in the way. <laughs> this is a restricted area. Personnel ID number is required. Well, I don't have that. Access denied. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it. Hi. Okay. You have to 60 days for complete global starvation. That's the merciful room. Absolutely. That's the data to use. What? What are you what are you talking about? The train came yeah. before the closest is too hot. Uh, what uh, pain stimuli yikes. is that more What? Interesting. We should look into that. Uh-huh. So this is just this is the other entrance. More more video tours though. Welcome to the mineral lab. Our researchers are always hard at work. Yeah. See, it's so cool looking. It is cool. Also terrifying. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely terrifying. Will they? Are you sure about that? Sure thing. Oh, hello. You came all the way out here, sir. <laughs> Turn back. You shouldn't be. Are you following us? Goodness. Excuse me, everyone. What, 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 just staring at? You're like the cat staring into a corner at nothing. <laughs> hmm. This is a restricted security terminal. A level five passcode is required for access. I don't have one. Access denied. How about here? me? Turn back. You don't belong here. Yeah, I'm getting that feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Due to an increase in electrical storm activity, communications with the beta site research team have been delayed. We ask all those awaiting data to please be patient. Current forecasts indicate that storms will dissipate by the end of the week. Regular communications will resume at this time. That would be a really wild thing to get used to with space, where it's just like space weather. Like, Right. General, first of all, just generally space weather, but then following up with, okay, sometimes your communications are just going to go out for like a whole fucking week. Oof, go right. twiddle your Scary. thumbs. Go twiddle your thumbs and continue what you're doing to the best of your ability for a week until you can like get whatever message you were like waiting to come back, you know? Right. Oh, no. Grayson, it's Garnell. I've had to go into hiding, and I need you to come get me. I found another one of those artifacts here. More important than we realized. It's in the mines. Here's the nav point. That's where I'll be. If something happens, I'm attaching a passcode that I hacked together. It'll open any security terminal. So 
sweet. That's handy. So he's still here. Do we have that passcode hack? Yeah, we just need to enter it at the security terminal. Sweet. Picking up all this SMG stuff that I normally care nothing about. It's like, yeah, yeah, sure, it's cool for my helpers here. Um, yeah. But uh, going back and playing through the series as an engineer, I'm like, shit, I have to use SMGs. I've been using my pistol a lot because I'm just not a fan of the SMGs. Oh, right, they, gotcha. They just, you know, there's so much recoil. Sure. Yeah, of course. TKS Metalworks has an eye on the future. Does it? Cutting edge research drives us forward. I thought we were just doing tungsten. Smart minds, smart business. Primary research interests include improving extraction practices and enhancing product quality. Sure. Okay, that makes sense. Our tour will continue outside the med bay. Uh huh. TGS Metalworks has right. an eye. Going back to their conversa creepy conversation, sure. Okay. Uh huh. How are we doing back here? What's going on? You shouldn't be here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, more video tours. TGS Metalworks is focused on. Oh. Oh, that's a camera. <laughs> Well, that's the moment in the horror movie where you start running. Um, right. <laughs> um, 